with the Nigeria Labour Congress's decision to embark on an indefinite strike starting midnight the 26th of September 2018. An emergency meeting between the NLC and the federal government was called, but ended in a deadlock. Despite the Minister of Labour's promise that the tripartite committee would reconvene in the next one week. We normally use uh, uh, two days for the meeting, so we are reconvening the meeting on the 4th. And all the processes have been put in place. The Labour leaders know and they are now expected to communicate them to their organs. NLC is demanding a new minimum wage of 56,000 Naira and says its decision to embark on the strike is because the federal government has failed to reconvene the tripartite committee on the new national minimum wage which it adjourned indefinitely. This is the first meeting we are having any information about what we have demanded for. Uh, also updating us on uh, what uh, they have been doing behind the scene. And uh, from that discussion, uh, clearly because you are aware we are here in a representative capacity because the meeting also had to come up uh, in an emergency situation. We are taking back this information to brief our rank and file about uh, what the issues are. But our minimum demand is that uh, the meeting of the tripartite committee should be reconvened uh, without any delay to complete this assignment. And until that is made, uh, the position we have taken remains the same. Earlier in the year, at the celebration of the NLC at 40, the Minister of Labour promised that a new minimum wage would be announced in the third quarter of the year, which by all calculations ends on the 30th of September 2018. Uh, this committee, of which I'm the Deputy Chairman, and of which the NSC president and the labor centers have about nine representatives. I put up a, 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 a timetable, and we do expect that by the third quarter of the year, a no minimum wage will be announced for the country. The NLC is not only faulting the federal government on that announcement, but also expressed concern that some states have insisted that they cannot pay the proposed new minimum wage of 56,000 Naira. It remains to see how long the strike would last, how much compliance it will enjoy, and just how swiftly the federal government would respond to end it. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.